OK, so it's been just under two years now since OPEC decided they weren't going to curb conduction, in fact, curb production, and in fact, even increased the tap and the level yeah. of flow. And we have gotten our first glimmer of hope that there may be a production cut coming. And they did say, they met, and they said, you know what, we are open to it. They even mentioned um, 750,000 barrels a day, which is a um, good number, enough that the markets reacted, obviously driving up the price, and hopefully is going to bolster con consumer confidence, which obviously is a huge part of driving things here. So um, there might be an actual moment where we believe we're at the bottom now. Well, and from um, an investment standpoint, that's pretty important because if you keep waiting for the bottom to drop, then you really don't know how much risk you can take. Yeah. But if you're comfortable with what the bottom is, at least you can start making some educated decisions. So hopefully um, companies will be able to plan a little bit more if they know that call it 40, 42, 43 is the bottom. Yeah. Now we're still s steps forward to ratifying that and um, having people, uh, all the countries uh, making up OPEC uh, to commit to that and divvy up who's going to produce what. But you know what, it's a great first step. The markets responded very confidently mm -hmm. with lots of optimism. And as a result, uh, we saw oil jump almost $4 to 4807 versus 44.66 in the previous week. And the Canadian dollar is up 76.24, obviously following commodities there. Um, up to, uh, from 75.95 last week. Another thing, we don't, we don't typically talk about retail, but one thing coming up that does always boost the economy a little bit, not necessarily from a real estate ta standpoint, but the Christmas e season is often a big economic boost in terms of some jobs and some additional spending that gets people out and about. And it's expected actually that despite the economy this year, that people are going to try and make up for some bad situations with having some nice Christmases, which doesn't really make that much sense. But the retail <laughs> forecast is actually it's quite high for the next two months. I feel bad about myself. <laughs> the pain comes up and the spending pushes it back down. I know. <laughs> News is news. Uh, number of listings, uh, Metro Calgary up over 100 from last week, uh, 6,203 versus 6,102. And Red Deer down just slightly, sitting at 651 versus 673 listings last week. For the Calgary months of inventory, we have just slipped into a buyer's market territory overall for the marketplace, which is not unexpected for this time of the year. So don't go panicking or anything else and obviously that's being driven hugely by condos as we can see here uh total overall of a month of inventory sitting at 4.12 balance being anywhere between two and a half and four months of inventory single family homes still very balanced um, and on the fast end of balanced at 3.07 that's flat from last week condos are sitting at 6.74 and they continue to climb in terms of months of inventory. So even the fact that we're overall, we're in a balanced market, we're seeing that being driven by the condominium and specifically apartment style condominium markets. Surrounding areas is looking relatively similar in most areas as it did last week. Uh, Okotoks at 4.51, Airdrie 3.5. Airdrie is always quite consistent. Uh, Cochrane 5.54, Strathmore 5.78. Uh, Sundry 11.67 and Red Deer is at 4.34 and our benchmark price is up $200 and is at 440200 versus 440000 where it has been sitting at for quite a while. 